time we're heading down down from the 14th floor on the Hilton headed down final day in Disneyland it's really sad because we have our bags with us this time because it's really somewhat strange too because we haven't had an issue getting a boarding group this whole entire trip and this morning we were ready right on time but for some reason we could not get rise of the resistance which is really unfortunate because we got it the day we were flying out here but then didn't make it on time for our reservation I'm thinking they probably would have just been nice and let us go ahead and get on, even though it was past our reservation time. But I cleared the reservation to try to get another one at 12. So I feel responsible I could have screwed that up for this trip. But this little dairy said she's perfectly fine. Because so. we have it in Disney World also. So it doesn't really matter. She's the best. There's our bags over there at the guest services getting ready to be put up put up for the day and we're just sitting in the lobby waiting on our last lift to the parks of the trip we'll have to take one later on to the airport but waiting on our last lift of the trip but for whatever reason I had like two ten dollar off coupons and three five dollar off coupons so yeah we've been bless you so yeah we've been doing lift quite a bit it's been working out pretty well for us but we have been walking back in the evenings. Last morning here in the Empanage. Kind of scary because we couldn't get a rise pass this morning. Like we said, there's so many people over here in line for Disneyland where DCA looks much more calm. So that makes me slightly nervous. We're just gonna like kind of take our time today, get some beignets, um, go whip, and hang out. through a lot of folks went to Adventureland not too many people headed here to Frontierland so we're hoping to just go check out Galaxy's Edge real quick to ride Millennium Falcon get my Ronto wrap get some bank yeah later on and yay's Dole Whip there's Big Thunder yeah Stink said it's close for this trip because it's one of Kayla's favorites and Aaron's such a cool transition from Frontierland Disneyland over to Batu. So don't ask me where to go. Oh, okay. Don't ask. Kayla said, "Don't ask her where to go." Don't ask me where to go either. I'm just trying my best. Hmm, no stormtroopers out yet. No Kylo Ren either. Let's see if we head over to the Resistance side. If we can find maybe Ray walking around. Maybe Chewie will be over at the Millennium Falcon. What do you think? Oh, it's the ship. On your left. Taking a picture here before? There's some really nice people that let Kayla be the pilot, so we're pilots today. Kayla's gonna be the right pilot. She's actually gonna do it. Flight engineers, repair desk. Hit your flashing buttons. You better be faster when we power up the ship. Shoot it! 
like the word for no, like in the asteroid field. It was like, uh, like there was like one asteroid coming, like, and then you have to find a different direction. And then there was like another asteroid right behind it, like that you're about to fly straight into. And then you have to go there. And then it's just like hard to control. I, I agree with her that a couple of those asteroids definitely flew out of nowhere, but yeah. we, we had a really fun time, right? Mm -hmm. You know what time it is. Every single trip with my Ronto wrap. Yum, yum, yum. What's up? No. I don't like it. Alright, that's gonna do it for a really quick trip to Batu today. We're gonna go take advantage of this rope drop morning and go hit a bunch of the classics. We just checked the app, they were only like five minutes. So let's go check it out. Fantasyland. Time to do the classics. Here, stand in front of me, babe. It's easier. So I never seen that. I would have never noticed that. today like the wind came in last night and it's still here today it's been extremely cold so I'm really looking forward to the coffee and beignets Kayla is one happy girl because we got our strawberry mint julep we also got Mickey beignets Mickey shake beignets all right take a bite of the specialty strawberry chocolate mm, really good Good. Which one do you like better? The strawberry chocolate one? Oh, it's only seasonal, so you better eat them while you can. Awesome. So much sugar. Kayla's on beignet number three. She decides she liked the seasonal ones better, so I'm letting her have three of those, and I'll have... Or no, she had two of those and one regular, and I'm having one seasonal and two regular. So much powdered sugar. It's just like the sugar just ma makes it come all together. Yeah. I do like the strawberry powdered sugar. I don't know what they do to it. I don't taste much chocolate, but I taste a lot of strawberry. Yeah, I don't eat that much chocolate. Oh, wait, you're eating a normal one. I thought you wanted the wait, special I one. I am? Yeah, you want the special one? Oh, snap! Yeah. Okay. Was that just a trick so you could have three and a half? No. Huh. Still got like a pound and a half of powdered sugar in here. So as it turns out, Kayla didn't like the mint julep drink, but I let her you know, have the strawberry in the bottom, and I told her she should try it with powdered I'll sugar. And, I've never and I barely seen, even have any left now. I've never seen a strawberry this covered before. There we go. There's some more red spots. Too much sugar. <laughs> really good. Let's try to get in the back of the train. Time to get on the train.
is my favorite part of the journey. Around every bend, there's natural beauty as far as the eye can see. Guys, literally, I could cry right now. Some major, major, major Disney magic was just made for me and Kayla. We have had some issues with a boarding pass for Rise the Resistance. We didn't get one this morning at seven, but we got one at noon, but we weren't gonna get called until way after we had to leave to go to the airport. And the best guest services person, Esteban, just literally made some Disney magic for us. We're getting to board right now. I was literally almost in tears when he did that for us. You have got to love Disney magic. Here we go on Rise. Kayla's very sad about leaving the Matterhorn. The magical Matterhorn, as she calls it. MMH. I'm always sad about. I'm always sad about leaving the castles and then the Walt and Mickey statue over here. Cruella, Cruella, dip in the Well, it's time to leave Disneyland. We're trying not to be extremely sad because the good thing is we do get to go home and that's always good too. Definitely counting down to the next time we can visit. Let's see if we can find some maps. back to DCA just to get the souvenirs guide map there we go grab Two? a couple yep or three because right. we Wait, collect how many these did you get of that? I got three okay because we collect these and someone let me forget about the maps this uh, time no I did I anyway extremely sad to be leaving Disneyland but extremely happy that it happened so about to walk back to our hotel and get our bags and call lift. So I was just talking to Kayla and just really had to come on here and do an appreciation to Kayla. She deserved this vacation, every single bit of it. She stayed home with me when the boys went to Colorado for an entire week. She stayed home with me. I was working from home, so it's not like I could give her my undivided attention. It's not even like we could really go do a lot of fun stuff. She stayed home with me. She took care of Herbie, our golden retriever, while I worked, and she did not complain one single bit. She wanted to stay with me. She didn't want to leave me alone. And for that, Kayla, you deserve every bit of all the fun you had on this trip. And I want you to know how much I thank you for all that you do and for such a wonderful person that you are, Kayla. I love you, sweetheart. Yeah, I love you too. I'm gonna hold you tight.